Hello and welcome. Doesn't this music just put you in the mood? Today we're going to make this beautiful boho Christmas stocking. It measures about 20 inches long and about 6 to 7 inches wide. I will show you step by step how to make this beautiful stocking. We're going to start at the top and work our way down towards the heel. We will then add the heel piece, continue with the foot, we will then do the toe. We will then come up and finish with the cuff. You can add a nice fluffy trim, also some pom-poms and a hanger. This pattern is also really adaptable to put any color you would like. So it's so simple to add your favorite color on all the different parts. For this one here, I just added an extra row of single crochet. So let's have some fun today and start crocheting this beautiful Christmas stocking. If you like my channel, be sure to like and subscribe and let's get started. Today we will be using a number four weight yarn. I am just using an off-white yarn from Craftsmart, which is from Michaels in Canada. You will also need some scissors, five millimeter crochet hook, darning needle, some stitch markers, and a measuring tape. Also, if you have some fur to put on the edges, some fun fur as well. So this is a number four medium weight yarn. It's 100% acrylic. It suggests using a 5.5 millimeter hook. I'm going to use a five millimeter hook and this is an off-white color. I used just about the entire skein of this ball. So seven ounces or 354 yards or almost 200 grams. The other yarn I'm going to be using is some fun fur. So this is just some stuff that I had laying around. It's just in ivory color. I will also be making some pom-poms with a pom-pom maker. I will put a link in the description to let you know how to make that. I have a video tutorial for it. With your main color of yarn, we're going to start with a slip knot. We will then chain 46. This should measure about 12 inches or 30 centimeters. We will then join with a slip stitch in the first chain. So keeping your chain nice and straight, we're gonna make a circle and put our hook into that very first chain. We can then chain one and start our first row. We will start in that very first stitch and we will do a single crochet. We will put one single crochet into each chain. So we have a total of 46 single crochet. This will be our last single crochet, and then we will slip stitch to join in the top of that first single crochet. We can then chain one. We will start in the same stitch. Put one single crochet in each stitch. So we will have 46 single crochet all the way around and we're going to do four rows in total.
If you would like, you can put a stitch marker in your very first stitch just to make sure that you have the 46 all the way around. Remember to slip stitch to join in the top of the first stitch. I will meet you back here after four rows. We will now start the bean stitch. Let's start with the chain one. We're then going to insert our hook in the first stitch. We will then draw up a loop. We can then yarn over, put our hook back into the stitch, draw up another loop, yarn over, insert the hook, and draw up another loop. You will now see six loops on your hook. We can then yarn over and pull through all six. We will close the bean stitch with a chain one. We will then skip a stitch and do another bean stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over in, pull up a loop, yarn over in, pull up another loop, yarn over, pull through all six. Chain one. Skip a stitch, insert, pull up one, yarn over, insert, pull up two, yarn over, insert, pull up three, yarn over, go through all six, and a chain to close. Repeat this all the way around, and I will see you back at the beginning. After you've made it around to the beginning, we will slip stitch to join in the top of the first stitch. We will now chain one and turn. We will start in the first stitch, so it's kind of behind here, so make sure you get into that right spot, right in there. So start the bean stitch. So pulling up one, pull up two, and pull up three. Finishing the stitch with the chain one. So now we will skip the next stitch. The next stitch is the top of the bean stitch. You'll see we're gonna go into the other stitch on the other side. So that's where we're gonna do each bean stitch in that spot there. So let's work the bean stitch. Chain one to close. You're skipping one and going into the bigger space. Again, into that space. So you don't really have to worry about skipping the one stitch as long as you're going into that larger space from the bean stitch from the round below. You will now notice how it kind of angles one way and then on the next row you're angled the other way. Continue around and I will meet you back at the beginning. We will slip stitch to join in the top of the bean stitch. Chain one and turn. And there you have it. We're just going to repeat this row until you have your desired length. Each row should have 23 bean stitch. Let's start one more row together. Remember we don't start here, we start right underneath our stitch. So right in this spot here. That will always be your first bean stitch.
and continuing on. Try to keep your stitches fairly tight. We don't want the stocking too loose for the stitches. Continue till you have about 10 inches or 25 centimeters. Also finish with your angle going the same way as mine. We can then cut your yarn and weave your end. We can now start the heel. You will see this is our center. We will then count back 10 stitches. So each bean stitch is two, four, six, eight, and then nine, 10. So we're gonna insert our hook into that 10th stitch. This is where we can add a new color or go with the same color leave a tail of about 15 inches or 38 centimeters. Draw up a loop, chain one, start in that same stitch, and let's do 20 single crochet across, putting one on the top of each stitch from the round below. This stitch here is number 10, and you'll notice that's our middle joining seam. So that will be your 10th one, and then continue with 10 more for a total of 20 single crochet across. For row two, we can chain one and turn. We will now do decrease rows. So we're gonna start with a single crochet decrease. So putting two together, we will insert into the first stitch, draw up a loop, insert into the second, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through three. That's putting a single crochet decrease or two together. We can then continue with 16 single crochet across, ending with another decrease. And the last two stitches, we will do the decrease. As you can see in this other video, this is what the heel will look like and then we will join it together. We can then chain one and turn and do another decrease row. Starting with the decrease and then 14 single crochet across and ending with the decrease. Continue your decrease rows, always doing a chain one and turn at the end of each row. Row nine will be our last decrease. From here, we'll do a chain one and turn, and we're gonna start our increases. For row 10, we will start by putting two single crochet in the first stitch. 
we will then do one single crochet in each of the next two. So it's one and two. And then an increase in the last by putting two single crochet in the last stitch. This row should be six stitches. Let's chain one and turn and do another increase. So for row 11, let's start with two single crochet in the first stitch. Then four single crochet across. And two single crochet in the last stitch. Continue these increases, always doing a chain one and turn in between each row. Row 17, you should now have 20 stitches. We can then leave a tail and cut our yarn. This is how the heel will be put together. It will look like this but we're going to stitch it from the inside. So turning the heel with the right side together, we will then stitch each side with our tail end that we left. Just line up the rows and weave in and out. We can now continue with the foot part of our sock. So going back to your same color that you have for the main portion of your sock, let's find the center of the heel. So of the 20 stitches, the center is going to be stitch 10 and 11. So let's just put a marker in there. You can also count from the other side for 10 stitches up from each side. We will then continue with our bean stitch. So we want to make sure that it's opposite the last row. So if one was going one way, we want the other row to go the opposite way to continue with a nice smooth pattern. So to find this out, I'm looking at this side of our sock and seeing which way these stitches go. This is the way I want our stitches to go because they will go, they will angle to the right. So I will start on the inside of the sock, at the center of the heel, in this stitch here.
we can now do our bean stitch. So this will kind of be like the very first part we did where we will do a bean stitch in this very first stitch. Finish the stitch. We will then skip a stitch and go into the next one. And let's continue this to the corner. You should now have five bean stitch. We will then go into the corner stitch. So after the last bean stitch, we will then skip the next stitch and then work into the next bean. So this will be right in here. If we do that though, we're gonna have a big hole. So we're gonna close up the corner with one stitch. We're first gonna go into the single crochet row, pull up a loop, we will then yarn over and go into the last stitch that was already used, yarn over, and then we will go into the bean stitch that we want that stitch in. We still have six loops on our hook. We will pull through all and chain one to close. This way we don't have a hole. We can now continue with our bean stitch until we reach the next corner. You can also see how our pattern is continuing with it going one way and then the next way. We will now put this next corner together the same as we did the first. So we want one bean stitch in this here, but we're going to combine it to make sure we don't have a hole. So inserting into the one where we want the stitch, yarn over, insert into this part, yarn over and insert into that single crochet row, yarn over and go through all three. This is bringing our corner together. We will now have 10 stitches left to do five more bean stitch. So starting in that very first single crochet, this is where we will start our last five bean stitch for the round. And remember, we'll skip the stitch and go into the next. This will be our last bean stitch. And then we will slip stitch to join in the top of the first stitch. And we can chain one and turn.
In this round, you will have 46 stitches or 23 bean stitch. Let's start the next round. For this round, we will do a decrease. We're going to do the decrease in the corner stitches. So I will meet you at the corner. We will now bring these two stitches together. So inserting in the first bean stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the second bean stitch, pull up a loop, go back into that same stitch, pull up a loop, and this will be our bean stitch decrease or the two stitches together. Continue all the way around to the next corner to do another decrease. When you have reached the next corner, where again we will put two bean stitch together. So inserting into the first, drawing up a loop, yarn over into the next bean stitch, pulling up a loop going back down into the same, and finishing our stitch. So this brings our corner together for a decrease. Let's continue on and I will see you back at the beginning. We can then slip stitch to join in the top of the first stitch. So now when we look back at this row, we have decreased it so you should have 42 stitches or 21 bean stitches. Always do a chain one and turn and we will continue with this pattern. Continue around until this foot portion reaches about 6 inches or 15 centimeters. We can now do the toe. This is where you will change colors if you're doing the two color sock. If, you're just continue, if you will just continue with the same color, we will start in that first stitch and we're going to do 42 single crochet all the way around. After 42, we can slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet. 
and then we will chain one and turn. Every row will have a decrease. For the first row, we're going to start with a decrease and then do 19 single crochet and then we'll do another decrease and another 19 single crochet. So here is our decrease and 19 more single crochet. Slip stitch to join, chain one and turn. And for our next row, we will start with a single crochet decrease and then eight single crochet And we will do that four times. We'll meet you back at the beginning. Slip stitch to join, chain one and turn. We will start with a decrease and then seven single crochet. And we will do that four times. Slip stitch to join, chain one and turn, and ready for our next decrease. Start with the single crochet decrease, and then six single crochet. and do that four times. Slip stitch to join, chain one and turn, starting again with a single crochet decrease, and then five single crochet. and working around four times. Slip stitch to join, chain one and turn, and you can see the hole is getting quite a bit smaller. We will now start with our decrease, do four single crochet, and repeating this pattern four times. And a couple more rows to go, this time with a single crochet decrease and three single crochet. Repeating this four times. Slip stitch to join, chain one and turn, and let's do the last row together. 
Starting in the first stitch, we will start with a decrease. And then two single crochet. That's one time. That's two times. And there's three. and four. We can now slip stitch to join in the top of that first stitch. And then we can cut our yarn, pull through, and weave the toe closed. Your sock should now look like this. Weave in all of your loose ends. We can now start the cuff. Finding the center back, we can take our yarn. If it's a different color for your cuff, now is the time to get your new color. Pull up a loop, chain one, and we will do 46 single crochet all the way around. We can then slip stitch to join, and then we will chain one and turn. For this next round, we will do single crochet in the back loop only. So starting in that first stitch, back loop only, single crochet all the way around. This will create a nice top edge for your stocking. When you've reached back around to the beginning, we will slip stitch to join. We will now start the ribbed cuff portion of the stocking. So let's start with a chain 11. This will be the length of our cuff. You can always make it longer if you like, or even add more rows at the end to make it longer. We will now single crochet back along this chain. So in the second chain from the hook, we will do our single crochet, 
till we get back to the beginning, which will be 10 single crochet. And this one here is number 10. We will then slip stitch into the next stitch. So slip stitch into here. And then we're also going to slip stitch into the next stitch. So two slip stitch. We will then turn our work. We will skip these two slip stitch that we just made and go into the next one. If you count from the end, that next one will be the 10th stitch. So right in here. We're gonna do it into the back loop only and we'll do 10 single crochet. can then chain one and turn and do 10 single crochet back loop only back down to the beginning. So starting in the first stitch, 10 single crochet. This will be number nine and number 10. It's a little tricky. There we go. So that will be number 10. So we will slip stitch into the next stitch. So slip stitch one and slip stitch into the next stitch, slip stitch two. Turn your work. Skip those two first slip stitch. So we're going, going to skip, skip one, skip two, and into the single crochet, back loop only, all the way to the end with 10. You can now see how the ribbed cuff will look and how it will sit on the stocking. So let's continue with this pattern. When you've reached the end of the cuff, always do a chain one and turn and go back down into the back loop with your 10 single crochet.
and this is number 10. We then do two slip stitch, one in each of the next two stitches. Slip stitch one, slip stitch two, turn your work, skip those two slip stitch, skip one, skip two, and into the back loop of that single crochet, 10 single crochet down. Continue all the way around the top of the sock and I'll meet you back at the beginning. We can then join our last row. So we have a slip stitch in the one and now we will join this cuff together. So we're gonna join it from the inside of the cuff. So we're gonna join here on this. So this is considered the inside because it will fold over so that seam won't show. So we're going to slip stitch the cuff closed. So where you've left off here, just line up your stitches and we will still go into the back stitch of that single crochet and then into the one across from it and slip stitch. So into the back loop and into the next one and slip stitch. Again, back loop of the stitch into the first one and all the way down to the end. Once you have finished closing your cuff, you can do two rows of single crochet around it just to finish it off nicely if you don't want to do the fun fur. So like I've done here on this stocking here. So that's just two rows of single crochet. For this stocking though, I'm going to cut my yarn and pull through. And now I'm going to add my fun fur. Be sure to weave in your loose ends. For the trim, I will just put one single crochet at the end of each row. So finding the end of each row, you'll have one loop and another one, one at the end and the other one. So let's put one single crochet at the end of each of those rows.
When you have reached around to the beginning, you can just cut your fur, pull through, and I usually just tie a knot with my beginning end. We can now do the hanger. So for the hanger, we're going to chain 20, and then we're just gonna slip stitch back down into each one of those chains, and then cut our yarn. attach this along the back portion. So we're just going to go with the very back center and we're going to put it underneath the cuff. So just finding a couple stitches there, just pull that chain through Just attach this to make a loop. Please watch my video to the very end to see how I finish off this stocking. Thank you so much. I sure hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you again soon. Bye.